hello 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 everybody welcome back to my channel happy new year everyone it feels so good to be back here in the new year 2019 it's my year let's go we're ready for it um i'm very excited for what this year is going to bring it's going to be great i hope you are all well i hope you had an amazing christmas and amazing new year celebrations and you got very messy i hope i know i definitely did so today i am going to do a get ready with me as you can see i am bare and we're just gonna have a chat and i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna do something a bit crazy today i think i'm gonna go for a green eye something a bit out of my comfort zone so i guess we will see how we go so if you want to see how this goes from a four to a high eight then keep watching so first and foremost as always i am going to cleanse my face of any oils or any makeup that may be left over so i'm going to use my johnson's face care um, daily essential facial wipes and these are the pink ones for normal skin and i love these i've been using them forever and they're my favorite so now that i'm all cleansed let's go move with my primer urban decay this is the optical illusion complexion primer it comes in this little pump bottle here so i'm gonna do two pumps on my finger just there put that all over my Face. so this is really nice this is thick and I feel like it creates like a nice layer for my makeup to stick to and it just feels very satisfying to rub on my skin which I like I know some of you may hate this but I actually prefer to do my base before I do my eyes I find if I do my foundation and my concealer after my eyes I it can get very messy and I can lose a bit of definition in the eyes so I'm gonna go straight into my base and I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty this is the pro filter in soft matte and it is 190 so this foundation is amazing but it is very very dry so I'm just going to put it on with my model rock blending sponge so I've got to do like one cheek at a time when it comes to this because if I dot it all over my face and then go back with my beauty blender it has already dried and set and I know a lot of people use an oil with this one but I feel like my skin gets so oily anyways. I don't want to add any of that extra oil just in case. So now that my foundation is done, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I use this in medium one, which is custard. And I'm just going to slip this under my eyes. So once again, I'm just going to blend this in with my Model Rock Beauty Sponge. I love this sponge. It is so fat and squishy and oh absolutely love so that's just gonna brighten me up nicely under my eyes so this is my first makeup tutorial guys and I had no idea how much went into a makeup tutorial because I'm just on my concealer and I've been filming for 11 minutes oh my god I'm gonna need a few bloody memory cards for this one but it's worth it. Let's powder. So I have used this powder for literally as long as I can remember. This is the Rimmel Match Perfect and it is just in the shade 001, which is a translucent powder. So it looks like this comes loose and I'm just gonna use my big fluffy Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to dip that in and I just like to powder my face all over. Set it in. I love my whole face to be powdered. I wish that I didn't have to because I go through a lot of powder. But I'm a sweaty girl so what can you do? Next we are going to do a bit of bronzer. I actually like to do my contour before I do my bronzer. So for my contour, I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones and my nose. I'm going to use the Hula by Benefit. So just lightly dab my brush in there. Just 
use my mirror. And I'm just going to go in my cheekbones here and create a bit of definition. And just blend it out. Lovely. Uh, that was my MAC. I honestly can't even read it. I've had this brush for so long. I think it is one... 109. I think it's my MAC 109. So that's just a little fluffy brush here. And then I'm going to go in with my <laughs> MAC 150, I'm pretty sure. And this is this huge fluffy brush. I'm sorry if I got those numbers wrong. I have had these MAC brushes for so long um, that they've worn off. So two bronze. I am going to use this Sports Kill bronzer. So this is the Bronze Me Bronzing Powder. And this doesn't have a shade. It only comes in one shade. So I lost another lid. So that's just this here. Really nice, dark, rich brown. Really nice for bronzing. I just put this in a three formation. So I'm going to minimize the look of my forehead. I'm going to carve out those cheekbones a little bit more and chisel my jawbone. So this girl's got a big old forehead. Just a bit on the jawline. To get rid of that double chin because it's only nice to have one. Actually... I do like my double chin. He's cute. He can stay there. But let's hide him for tonight, shall we? I just love how much a little bit of bronzer can change your whole look up. I look chiseled to the gods. Now for my nose contour, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. So it's just this big fluffy brush here. So I'm going to go back with that haul of bronzer. And this stuff is strong. So I'm just literally going to tiniest little um bump there and i'm just going to go down slowly patting the side of my nose and then with that extra powder i'm just going to blend it into the side of my nose and now it's snatched Next, we are going to move on to blush. Now, I am very embarrassed to show you this, and you guys are going to cringe. So, I bought this blush, I think it was like 2014, when I was in Paris. And I've never bought another one, and I've been using it since. Sun Basque, a sheer tone shimmer blush. Are you ready? This is what it looks like. So that pink bit in the middle isn't product, just around the outside. But I love it so much. I will get a new one soon. I promise. I promise. So I just dip my brush in here. This is my MAC 107, I think. This is what most people use as their stippling brush for their foundation, but I like it as the blush brush. So I'm just going to tap that onto my cheeks here. Mm -mm. Give me a bit of color. Oh, actually, before I forget, I'm going to slip on some lip gloss just while I have nothing on my lips. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss at the moment. So this is the Nivea Strawberry Shine. And I could literally just bite this off right now. Does it not just add the nicest little sheen to your lips? Anyway, back to the important stuff. So to set everything that I have just put on my face or my base um, and to create a tacky surface for my highlight, I like to use the Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist. This stuff is awesome. The spray is great. I find that MAC Studio Fix was just a little too wet for me for my highlight. So I like to use this first and it sets my makeup, my base, while I'm at it, while making my skin tacky. So... I love this. I drench myself in this. It smells like cucumber gin and tonics. Love it. So I let that dry just a little bit. And I am going to use for me highlight what I use every single day, always. My Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. My bestest friend in the whole world bought me, for, bought me this for my birthday like three years ago, still love it, still use it. Obviously, as you can see how much I've used champagne pop there. 
So Champagne Pop is what I use. I am going to use my Morphe E61 brush for this one. Just dip a little bit in while my setting spray is still wet. This is my favorite highlighter. Of all time, I can make it dramatic. I can make it soft for every day. It just suits me very, very nicely. Let's go a bit of nose while we're there. A little bit on the bridge. And of course, do not forget that Cupid's bow. I'm just gonna tap him on because I've got some lip gloss on and I don't wanna put lip gloss on my brush. Let me bring you a little bit closer and let's deal with these brows, shall we? So I recently, well not recently, it's been a couple of months now, but I have my eyebrows tattooed on. So I hardly ever have to fill them in which is like the best thing that's ever happened to me but just to give a little bit of color um so they don't have that blue tinge when i have my foundation over them i'm going to use my brow satin by maybelline here a pen on one side and then on the other side we have so it kind of looks like a little beauty blender with a point doesn't it and this just has powder in it as you can see there so just at the tops and the bottom with the pen. So there we go. So in the sponge, and I'm just going to use that to fill in the front and the tails. So I'm just going to clean up the bottoms a little bit. So I'm going to use my new Morphe M705, which you would have seen if you swatched my Black Friday haul. Just a little bit of concealer on the end of this brush, and I'm just going to make sure they're even on the bottom here. There we go. So they are a bit more... <laughs> And I'm just going to use my MAC Brow Set to set those bad boys in place. And they are done. So today we're going to use this beautiful boy here. This is the 35D palette from Morphe. And this is what it looks like. Oh, I wanted this palette for so long. And then... I finally brought out the Courage and bought it from Lux Look. So I think I'm going to use this green here today. I love this color so much. I've swatched it so many times because I wanted to use it, but I've never actually used it. So let's give him a try. Let's see how we go with this big old green eye. So as you transition shade, I'm just going to go with my Hall of Bronzer. So these brushes here... I'm going to be using quite a few of these brushes for this eye look. Um, I think it was like 2015 or something, I ordered this big makeup brush um, collection off of eBay for like $60 or something. And there was like 100 brushes or whatever. And it was this brand called Avoni. Like I have so many of their brushes in here. They don't have numbers or names or anything like that. Transition blending brush. Just whatever brush that you use for your crease or whatever, anything like that, works perfectly. So I'm just going to zoom me in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that hula bronzer in my crease. Okay, so now that that brown transition is done, I always like to use my finger. So I'm just going to go straight in with my finger here. I mean, come on, look at that color. So I'm just gonna take a pointer brush and just blend this out a little bit onto the lid. I'm just going to take this color and I'm just going to flick it out. With that same pointed brush that I used to pack it on my lid earlier. So to make myself look a little bit less crazy, I'm going to put some black eyeliner in my waterline. This is just the YSL waterproof eye pencil. So 
I'm just going to zoom you out to here so you can still see my lashes. So if you watched my Black Friday haul, you would have seen the lashes that I bought. The Model Rock Russian Doll Lights lashes. I love them. They're my favorite. They go with everything. They're the best. So I'm going to slip some of those on. I have a lot of trouble sticking on eyelashes. I'm just going to check those on and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So I'm back. So I've just slipped on those lashes as you can see now that was so difficult okay so it is the first time i've put on lashes since i've had a lash lift nightmare and two today i got really short nails because i wanted to take a break from my acrylics so it is the first time i've tried doing them with really short nails and i didn't have my favorite tweezers either and it was just a nightmare. I'm surprised that one of my eyes isn't stuck together. So I'm going to have to do a bit of damage control here. So I think let's put some eyeliner in the spa spot. So I've got a spare spot up here and a one over here as well. So I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner ever. This is the quick flick. So I'm just going to use the pen side here and fill in those gaps where it's needed. By the way, to stick on my lashes, I used my favorite duo glue. See it here? So that has the applicator right on the end. So having that applicator on the end just means I can brush it straight on to the lash. There's like no issues or whatever. I love that. I don't end up putting too much glue because you're squeezing it out or whatever. To add a little bit of brightness into my inner corner, I'm going to use my Stiller Magnificent Metals. This one is in Diamond Dust, which is a gorgeous silver. I also have it in the gold. Um, one of my friends, Sky, bought these for me for my 21st, and I love them. I use them every opportunity I get because they are so beautiful. So from the little applicator here, I'm just going to pick some of the product off. I've just zoomed you in some more so you can see the brightness of this inner corner. Okay, so now our eyes are done. All we have left to do is our lips. I am going to go ahead with my Kylie Cosmetics lip liner and this is in coconut. So I'm just going to line my lips. I like to overline my top lip a little bit more because as you can see in the inner corners, it's not as full as the rest of my lips. So let's fill them in. So these Kylie Cosmetics lip liners are so nice, so creamy. This is a gorgeous color. Um, and I'm gonna pair that with the gloss in So Cute because it's so cute and it makes my lips look so cute and juicy. <laughs> That's the gloss there. I love this gloss. It's really moisturizing, really nice, gives a really nice sheen to the lips. And I think it is the perfect nude to complete this look. So I just zoomed you out so you weren't so up close and personal. But this is the final look here. I really like the way it turned out and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll insert a couple of clips here so you can see what it looks like up close. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, there's going to be a lot more fun videos coming out soon. I've got a brand new haul coming out very, very soon. It's very exciting, especially for all my Australian ladies out there. You are going to love this one coming up. But yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, that's me. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.